Hello, it's Martina and Rob. Um, Hi there. Today we prepared a presentation for you about crowd disease and IBS. Um, so Rob, what from your perspective is uh, Crohn's disease? Okay, well first off, before we go into that, I'd just like to say that uh, any opinions that I give in these, these short, short, short talks that we're doing are just opinions only. They're not medical advice and if you're not well, you really should go and see your doctor about that. Okay, so Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a natural biological reaction to a type of life stress. Mm -hmm. What exactly could this be? Different things, or is it something? Yeah, it can be. It's not a specific. It's not a specific event in life, but it's it's any event that affects us in a specific way. And what happens is our bodies start to react biologically to that stress. And um, excuse me, um, the biological process involved with Crohn's disease is when the body tries to absorb something out of the issue. And to do that, it tries to react biologically by creating more cells in the lining of the intestines. The biological purpose of that is to try and absorb something out of the issue. Mm -hmm. So you can see that your body or your under the control of your psyche has made an association between the life stress and an issue that it's trying to digest. So it's trying to digest it practically. So that's, that's what causes Crohn's disease is your body trying to digest an issue and then when it releases that activity of digestion, mm -hmm. you go infl inflammation takes over then, and people are constantly seesawing between cell proliferation mm -hmm. when the conflict is active or when they're thinking about the issue, and ulceration when um, the body is removing those extra cells. That's why you get a condition called uh, ulcerative colitis. The word ulceration is is in that is the explanation of that. Mm -hmm. And does have IBS and Crohn's disease something in common? They do, Martina, yes. Because when our bodies are finished trying to digest the issue, right, it just wants rid of the waste. And that's the IBS symptom, where you get rapid evacuation of the bowels. Because the body is basically saying, I've chewed over that enough now, I just want rid of it. Mm -hmm. And consequently, you have uh, an involuntary evacuation of the bowel. And why do certain foods or other things trigger this, like specific food? Okay, yeah. Well, the reason that, that happens is that um, at the moment that we suffered the original shock, yes. our bodies became aware of the environment, and after that, any time that we re-experience any of those environmental factors, it re-triggers the body back into the shock conflict, which causes the process. Mm -hmm. And then when we leave the environment that's caused it, the body goes into healing, which is then the need to go to the toilet with the inflammation in the inner bowel to remove the cells and um, symptoms of IBS and such. So, Foods themselves are not the cause of the disease, they just cause a memory track to our psyche which then re-initiates the disease process. And it doesn't just need to be foods, it can be anything at all. It can be a person, a place, a food, a sound, a smell, anything that re-triggers the original biological stress conflict. Mm -hmm. um if you, if you can allow the, help the person to find the trigger. Exactly. Yeah. That's, it. That's the key to it. The key to it is always to work with the person to go back in time to find the actual moment that the whole process started. Mm -hmm. Heal that with all, all your therapy techniques um, and then a natural healing process starts then. That's good. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. If you'd like to know any more information about this, um, have a look through my website. There's other websites referenced from it, and I run study groups as well, so you feel more than welcome to come and join in with those. Thank you. This is Rob Jardin and Martina. Hello. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>